President Obama will make a primetime address to the nation tonight to push his revised strategy for the war in Afghanistan. He discussed the plan with Afghan President Ahmed Karzai during an hour-long video conference call earlier this morning. CBS News Chief White House correspondent Chip Reed has a preview of what President Obama will say. Chip, good morning. Well, good morning, Harry. The president will lay out the details of his Afghanistan plan at West Point tonight, details CBS News has already obtained. According to a senior military official, President Obama will call for the deployment of about 30,000 additional troops to Afghanistan, about 10,000 less than General Stanley McChrystal initially requested. The troops will be divided into four brigades, three combat brigades and a training brigade. That means areas in the north and west of the country will not be covered. Still, Afghanistan expert Michael O'Hanlon believes it should be enough to get the job done. And I think the allies will do at least a little bit more. And also, we should hope that some Muslim states may consider sending some modest contributions. The McChrystal plan, which was leaked to the Washington Post in September, outlined a strategy that relies less heavily on air power so as to reduce the number of civilian casualties. It also calls for an increase in the pace of training of Afghan police and soldiers, as well as concentrating forces in key regions like the South, where the Taliban is especially strong. The key to success in Afghanistan is the Afghan army taking on the Taliban. President Obama is also expected to discuss an exit strategy. When you add 30,000 more troops, you're investing even more in the war. And it's nice to talk of exit strategies, and it's smart, and it's useful. But the essence of the near-term decision is more American commitment, not less. Later today, the president will meet here at the White House with more than two dozen members of Congress to lay out his plan, both Democrats and Republicans. He'll then get on Air Force One and go to West Point and deliver what may be the most important speech of his presidency so far. Harry? Chip Reed at the White House this morning. Thank you.